the average American spends $823 on Christmas alone, which is an easy ticket into debt. If you don't want to be one of those Americans who dips into debt to this Christmas, then keep watching, because we'll give you a step-by-step -step plan on how to avoid that this Christmas. 1. Set up your budget. You can never go wrong by first setting up your budget, whether you already keep a budget or you've never done one before. Knowing how much your income and expenses are will help you manage your money in the best way possible, and it's essential to know how much you're able to spend this Christmas. For instance, you may realize after you've set up your budget that you'll have an extra $400 for gifts without going above your means. 2. Plan out who you need to buy gifts for. After you've created your budget, it's best to make a detailed list of who you want to buy gifts for and what gifts you want to get them. This will give you a good outline for researching gifts and if any changes need to be made. 3. Figure out the prices of items for each person. After you've collected your gift list, you can do some research on the prices of the gifts. It's at this point where some adaptations may need to be made. For instance, you may only have $400 to spend on gifts, but the total of your gift list is above $550, which would pull you into debt. Fortunately, there are two ways to reduce this number, but before we tell you, let us know in the comments below what tips you're using to stay out of debt this Christmas. 4. Find ways to reduce your expenses. The first step after you've figured out your gift expenses and you don't want to remove any gifts is to see if you can lower your current expenses. Since you don't have an extended period of time, it's likely that you'll be targeting personal purchases, gas, and food. For example, you can avoid any personal purchases online, don't eat out for all of December, try to avoid driving as much to work, and eat budget-friendly meals. 5. Make substitutions for inexpensive gifts. However, if you feel that some gifts, even after trying to reduce your expenses, are simply too expensive, then finding substitutions is your best bet. If you've written a detailed gift list for your friends and family, you'll likely have several gifts per person, and you can make the necessary changes so you can stay out of debt. 6. Increase your income. You may think it's impossible to get a sudden increase in income with such little time before Christmas. But there's one way you can get cash very quickly. One of the best ways to do this is to sell any old and unused items you have in your home. Remember, it's not just you looking to not get into debt. So people will be scouring online marketplaces for good deals on potential gifts. This is a common way to grow your income. And if you want to find other amazing ways to increase your income and save money, then subscribe to Investors Weekly. 7. Repurpose items as gifts. As a last resort. You can always repurpose items you've had and give them as gifts. There are going to be some people on your gift list that you may not have any gift ideas for. So this is an excellent option if you want to stay below your means and simultaneously get rid of items in your home. Before I share the last tip with you, let us know in the comments below whose frugal living tips you'd like us to cover in our next videos. 8. Stick to your plan. Of course, a plan may seem excellent on paper, but it's only useful if you can execute it. So, after you've made your personalized plan from the steps we gave you, you need to make sure you stick to it so that you can stay out of debt. Then, everyone can celebrate Christmas and you can feel happy knowing you didn't go into debt. Bonus tip, set a price limit on gifts. For those of you who don't have many gift ideas for your friends and family, you can set yourself a price limit on gifts, say $10, so you'd limit the amount you'd spend per person to $10. For some quick math, if you bought gifts for 10 people, then you'd only be spending $100. However, you'll need some really good creative gift picking to make this happen, but you definitely can do it. 